Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, today we're going to show you a possibility how to connect, uh, for example, using Ketna Grandmaster 36 MIDI with the 7 uh, pin MIDI connector jack or cable with the 5 pin connector, for example, to a MIDI body MP128. Uh, phantom powered um, MIDI board. The plan is um, having the seven pin uh, connector here um, and getting the phantom power directly into this um, MIDI board. Uh, the uh, original idea was using the seven pin and uh, building in using a seven pin right here which I didn't want to, so uh, we uh, left the five pin there and what I did, I made up an adapter which brings me the seven pin as shown here uh, female jack into a five pin um, jack which goes then into the rolls midi body. So the whole setup is uh, for example shown here. Um, what we did is uh, we took the 5 pin and made it up to the 7 pin via all these uh, connections. I added a uh, 100 ohm uh, resistance here, a resistor, um, which brings me from these 21, roughly 21 volts phantom power from the Grandmaster uh, to the phantom power of 12 volts for the um, MIDI body. So, in other words, uh, the whole setup itself is shown here with this adapter. So, what you can see, um, this is what the 5 pin is and this is what the 7 pin looks like. Be careful, this is the back view of these jacks. So, if you look on the jack like this and if you look on the jack like this, this is how the connection should be. And then when we power it up, i show you that. So the 5 pin goes into the phantom power, uh, into the MIDI jack, sorry. The 7 pin goes right in here. There it is. Works perfect. So no extra uh, power unit is needed for the MIDI body. Connection works. You see, 